Matthew Thompson from the class of 2009. One of the most decorated athletes in the history of Jesuit Dallas, Matthew Thompson left a wake of swimming records and accomplishments at the high school, collegiate, and national level. A six-time UIL state champion, seven-time junior national champion, and 14-time Niska Speedo All-American, Thompson capped a dazzling high school swimming career by collecting three top 10 finishes at the 2009 U.S. World Championships. Holding school records in five individual events and two relays, Thompson was twice named the top swimmer in Texas and was a four-time regional swimmer of the year. Authoring a pair of Texas state records, Thompson established a national record in the 200 individual medley during his senior season. Thompson earned a scholarship to Sanford University, where he was a five-time NCAA All-American, Pac-12 champion, and a four-time academic All-Pac-12 selection. A two-time semifinalist in the 200 back at the U.S. Olympic Trials, Thompson earned a bronze medal at the 2011 U.S. National Championships. He finished third in the 100 back at the 2012 NCAA Championships while securing his fifth All-American honor. Thompson, who was a two-time champion at the 2018 Senior Metropolitan Short Course Winter Championships, still ranks among the top 15 in Stanford history in the 200 back, 200 IM, and 400 IM he was able to get into this gear that not many people can get into. It, it, it's a beautiful thing when you see that as a coach and it's an exciting thing as a coach when you see that because you know the sky's the limit for the guy. I just tried to get out of the way most of the time and let him do what he could do naturally. So he was given a gift and, and I think he made the most of that gift. Before a big race, if he really wants it and he's, he's a little uptight, he would go to the trash can and make a deposit and uh, you all I never worry but if he uh, I don't know if I can say this on film if he threw up before his race nobody else had a chance Matt is the person you always want on your team you know he'll push you to be better he'll inspire you endlessly he'll never give up and he'll do it all while making you laugh harder than you ever have before and the school record was set by a guy named Glenn Gehan back in the early 80s and stood all this time you need to go get it right now. Okay, coach, what was the time? So knowing the time was 45.95, I told him 44.95, took a second off of it. And he said, wow, that's fast. I said, just quit whining and go swim. And sure enough, Matt went 44.81 to lead off the relay and gave us a lead. And then uh, got out of the pool and I said, hey, congrats. He said, wow, that was close. I got it by 14 hundredths and I said, well, maybe by a little more than that. I, uh, I remember vividly one time going to see him swim at St. Mark's Natatorium. Um, I got there towards the end for his, his best event, the 200 IM, and uh, he basically annihilated everybody from the start. And by the time he was done, there was maybe 30 seconds of swimming left for the other kids, and he set the uh, pool record that day. You know, making the United States Olympic team is one of the hardest things to do in the world and you know for him to get a second swim at that meet I think uh, I think that'd be one of his more proud moments I know I know I was proud of him. As rare as Matt's talent is it's even more rare that it comes with such humility and generosity. It's been a huge gift in my life to remain close even beyond swimming and especially to watch as you bring all of your talents forward into all aspects of your life. To this day, I'm hard pressed to name a more dedicated, hardworking, earnest, honest, steadfast peer or colleague or teammate or friend. As good as a swimmer as he was in the pool, um, a lot of his friends and the people that know him would say he's an even better guy out of the pool. Matt and I have talked about how uh, crucial the Jesuit experience was for him and how it laid a foundation for him to be extremely successful in college and arguably even more successful in his professional life. So congratulations to you Matt and congratulations to Jesuit for honoring such a deserving member of your community. Matt, congratulations on making it into the Jesuit Hall of Fame. I'm proud of you. I know your family and your friends are proud of you, and uh, 
It's been a privilege to know you these years, and I wish you all the best of luck. Matt, congratulations on your induction into the Jesuit Sports Hall of Fame. You're extremely deserving of this honor, and I'm very grateful to have you for a friend all these years. Congratulations. Matt, it was a privilege to be your coach here at Jesuit. Really excited for you this evening and your family. Congratulations on your induction into the Jesuit Sports Hall of Fame. Keep going out there into the world being a man for others. Congratulations to 2019 Jesuit Dallas Sports Hall of Fame inductee, Matthew Thompson. Mom and Dad, I cannot thank you enough for all the ways in which you've helped me arrive at this moment tonight. I'm so fortunate to have had parents who have never been anything but supportive. You always went above and beyond for me, uprooting yourselves to make it possible for me to attend Jesuit, and I'm so grateful for you both. You were at every swim meet, but never became one of those crazy, psychotic sports parents or swim parents <laughs> who interject themselves, um, as I'm sure Mook and BJ can attest. And of course, I have to make the requisite shout out to mom for all of the early mornings, all of the driving, <laughs> all over Dallas to any, all the practices and swim meets. Thank you so much. I'm, as pretty much anyone at my table can share, I'm really not a morning person. Um, so thanks for dealing with me all those mornings. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Amy, you've been to everything from six-year-old country club meets at DAC to NCAA championships, Olympic trials, and, and high school state, of course. Leave it to Amy to go head to head um, at the University of Texas Natatorium with uh, other with a huge dad from Houston that we didn't know fighting over prime seating at UAL State Finals. So, needless to say, she came away victorious. Don't mess with my sister. Uh, my high school coach and alumni association legend VJ Antes is here tonight. As is my longtime club coach Mook Rodenbaum. They push me each in their own different way and it helped to develop me both in and out of the pool. Thank you both gentlemen. BJ, I came to you having already had some success, and I just have to thank you for helping me round out another side of what success ought to look like if you've been bestowed with a God-given talent. You helped me develop leadership skills and helped me understand that responsibility should always accompany success. I so appreciate your leadership, your mentorship, and your friendship. And I think back to some of the state and regional meets we had together, and I have the best memories of our banter and your coaching style. I remember kind of pre-finals, I was always nervous, to your point, growing up sometimes, um, always super nervous at state, but you just had this perfect mix of calm reserve and give them hell attitude, um, which was the perfect antidote for pre-race jitters, so thank you. Mook, I've said this before, but you changed my life. <laughs> 